saying base 98 does not work on a two-way slash and playmaker y'all know me i'm the jump shot plug this year i've strictly mostly most of my videos been helping y'all out with jump shots here and there i sprinkle a content here and there i sprinkle the content out but for now i need to help y'all out they broke aldridge base this year so finding jump shots was a little bit tough but then we found base 98 and once we found base 98 everybody started greening then they try to tweak it a little a little bit but we were still greening everybody was still green except for the two-way slash and playmakers two-way finishers and all those lower shooting bills and big man especially you rarely see a big man use base 98 but i'm here to debunk the theory that base 98 is too fast too slow or not a good jump shot base for a big man or any two ways out there now if you're a two-way finisher with a three ball like a 50 and below i don't know man you might be shooting the 50s all right and you can't blame it you're all wrong it's a 50 so what do you expect unless you're different with that being said pick up for yourself and enjoy the video gbo for a dumb move all the team go Hello, I'm gonna be showing y'all 98 on Hall of Fame right now with the play shot. This is my playmaking oh. shot creator 65. Every build you see, every quick draw you see right now will be 65 builds. All right, play shot and two way slash and play. This is a two way slash and play. Immediately, you can tell that it looks slower off the rip. All right, but when I slow it down, you're gonna see it's not that much slower. It's just a different looking animation. Now look at this. Now it is right-handed and left-handed, so you gotta just deal with it. Left-handed to me is better, so that's why I made my two-way left-handed. But if you pay close attention, you'll see that 98 on Hall of Fame is faster, which we expected. Gold Quick Draw seems to be a higher jump off the ground, and it makes it slower. But if we look at Dante X on base, it looks faster immediately. It looks like I'm using Hall of Fame quick draw, but if you look at the bottom left, it still says two way slash and playmaker. And I put them side by side, both at 16%. And to me, Dante Exum has the slight edge on being faster, but it's not about being faster, it's which one is easier to green. Dante Exum, is re his green IQ is at the top of his jump. Base 98 is tricky. And you'll see in the clips in this video, so enjoy. GVO on a new set I'm using base 98 on my two-way slash and playmaker in this video and not only am I using base 98 I'm using upper releases from jump shots that I've created for base 98 on my playmaking shot creator my shot creator my scoring machine and even my mid-range playmaker so I switched upper releases about seven times or more I can't count the amount of times just to prove to you guys that this base does work for people that have low three ball ratings, if anything, I consider anything in the 70s or below to be low. If your jump shot's in the 80s, your base 98 is for sure working. I've seen that big men, they don't they don't like to use base 98 because some of them feel like it's too fast. Some of them feel like the green light cue is harder for a big man. Now I'm not gonna lie, I have not used it on a big man, so I cannot speak for a big man. But I can tell you anybody 6'5 or below, look at this dude on the ground. Anybody 6'5 or below, base 98 should work for you. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, if your three ball is a 50 or below, I don't know what to tell you, Chief. All right? I don't know what to tell you. You're going to be shooting them 50s. I don't think you can green consistently every single time with a 53 ball. All right? 2K is literally telling you that that build is 50. So don't take it personal. But I literally sacrifice my shooting percentage. I sacrifice even my win percentage. I put my win percentage on the line, not saying that it means a lot to me, but my shooting percentage does mean a lot to me because I, I take pride in shooting. All right, I got a 64 three-point percentage. It did drop to a 63. I'm showing you misses. I'm showing you the consistency with some upper releases and the inconsistency with other upper releases. Because like I said earlier, I'm using different upper releases will see that some of the upper releases look different than the ones that you saw before like this one is different than the ones that you saw a while ago just a few minutes ago not even a few minutes about a minute ago this one is different as well just to prove to y'all that it's not just one upper release that works with base 98 base 98 is still one of the fastest bases even for gold quick draw it's still one of the fastest bases all right so don't let me hear you say that it's slow if you got silver look at this dude on the ground somebody help him up life alert Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I love this build, but that's not the point of this video. This video is to talk about the inconsistencies and the consistencies of this jump shot base with gold quick draw on a lower. Look at this. I'm showing y'all 
the full whites i'm showing y'all some of the bricks just to show y'all that it depends on the upper release that you use because depending on the upper release that you use if it has a green easy green like you like this one a lot of times you're gonna green it you're, you're you can basically shoot like a play shot with that upper release but it is tricky on it is very tricky on gold quick draw because if you're used to hall of fame quick draw with 98 like me it's gonna be different off the dribble and off the catch and shoot sometimes when you catch the the rock and look at the he should have dropped right there he should have dropped sometimes when you catch the rock and you about to shoot it it feels slow so sometimes that's gonna make you miss the jump shot sometimes it even cost me a game yo where i, I caught the ball trying to shoot it just like you see right here and it says slightly early but if you looked at the animation look at these animations they all say slightly early because sometimes when you catch and shoot, it makes the jump shot feels way faster than it is. I'm showing y'all the inconsistencies of some upper releases on base 98. You just have to find the upper releases. Look at this, slightly early, slightly early, slightly early. This is one of the reasons why I do prefer Dante X on base on gold quick draw, because when you release the jump shot, it's 100% on you. It's not gonna give you an animation, like a slow animation that makes your jump shot feels like it's moving faster when it's really not, all right? Because all those shots you just saw me shoot were slightly early. And here you see me using a different upper release on a Elite One. The Elite One was pretty certified. You know, I had to go ahead and add him to the squad. It wasn't a real comp game or nothing like that because he wasn't probably running with his real teammate. Still, the guy that he was running with still knew how to play the game. You can't judge somebody by their rep. But in the beginning of the video, y'all saw when I put Hall of Fame Quick Draw and Gold Quick Draw with base 98 side by side and slowed it down. You can tell the difference immediately. Now, Gold Quick Draw 98 versus Dante Exum in slow. Dante Exum to me is a little bit quicker just by the fact that he just squares up. He doesn't lean forward as you're seeing 98 does. 98, they lean a little bit forward and it's not fast enough. Right? To me, it's not that much of a difference, but it's easy. Let's just be real. It's easier to green Dante Exum than 98. Because 98, your upper releases is gonna sometimes, like I said, it's gonna trick you. It's, it's gonna feel like the, the jump shot sped up or it's gonna feel like the jump shot slowed, slowed down. Look at this dude slip and slide. But there's times where it's like you, you catch your green like you. For a lot of people out there that are not like me, that's, that don't switch jump shot every week, 98 would be a good base if your upper release is so easy to green. But for people that switch jump shots like me so much, it is better to use 98 on a play shot or anything like that that can green quick consistently and the, the speed of the jump shot stays the same. Rarely ever does 98 feel faster or slower on a play shot. So my final answer is does it work? It works. Is it consistent? It is consistent. But is it like stage comp level consistent? Now that's just going to depend on you as a player because for me it's not. 90, 98 is not. But Dante Exum, I can take it to the stage, and if I'm open, I'm greeting every time. With that being said, big up on myself, big up the Lord Almighty. No time we count on nothing. Ah, GVO on a don't know all the team. Go, yard man, give me gone.